here is a couple of parallel lines. We're calling them L1 and L2. I've located some points on these lines, here and here and here and here, and we're going to use these points to find the slope of the parallel line. Now as I go from this point to this point, I have to rise 3 and run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the slope of L1, we'll call it M1, equals rise over run, which is 3 over 5. Now if we do it for the other one, again, I will move from this point over to this point. And as I do that, I have to go up 1, 2, 3, so I have a rise of 3, and run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have a run of 5. So for L2, the slope of that line, M2, is equal to rise over run, which is 3 over 5, which illustrates the point that I wanted to get at, and that is the fact that if L1 is parallel to L2, then their slopes are equal. M1 equals M2. Now that's the parallel. To find the equation of the line, we need to know slope and we need to know a point. Now, let's say I'm asked to find the equation of a line that passes through the point 5, negative 3, and runs parallel there's the symbol for parallel, to the equation 5x minus 2y plus 10 equals 0. Now, I've been given a point, but I need to find the slope. Luckily, I've been given enough information because I'm told that the line is parallel, the line I want is parallel to this line. So if I know what the slope of this line is, then I know that the slope I want to use is going to be the same. Um, I can rearrange this into y equals mx plus b form to find what the slope of this line is. So I'm just going to say finding slope dot dot dot. When I rearrange this, the easiest thing to do in the first place is to add 2y to both sides, and then I will have my y term by itself over on this side after I've done that. So I'm going to go ahead and add 2y to both sides, and I get 5x plus 10 equals 0 plus 2y gives me positive 2y. And now to get y completely by itself, so that it's in y equals mx plus b4, I'll divide both sides by 2. And I get 5 halves x plus 5 equals y. The slope of this line is 5 halves, which means that the slope of the line I want to find is also 5 halves. So therefore, the slope that is parallel to this one, slope parallel, equals 5 halves. Using m equals 5 halves and the point 5, negative 3, I'm going to go ahead and sub that into our slope point formula, which you should recall is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, where m is the slope and x1, y1 is the point that we want to use. I'm going to go ahead and sub those numbers in. y plus 3 
of y subtract negative 3 is y plus 3 equals 5 halves. There's my slope from there. x minus, there's my x1, 5. Now any linear equation needs an x and y in it, and so we have our x's and y's here. When I ask you for the slope, sorry, for the equation of a line, I always want the answer to be given in standard form. In standard form, we cannot have fractions, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those now by, by multiplying both sides by 2. So I'm going to put brackets around there, multiply this side by 2, multiply this side by 2. Now when I multiply this side by 2, I use the distributive law, I get 2y plus 6 equals, and on the other side, this 2 is going to cancel with this one, and it's just the 5 that distributes through the bracket. I'm going to get 5x minus 25. Now I need to get one side equal to 0. I'm going to go ahead and get this side equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 2y from this side for both sides. I get 5x minus 2y. I'm also going to subtract 6 from both sides. I get negative 25 minus 6 is negative 31. Now this side is equal to 0 since I subtracted negative